Hi guys, uh, I'm just gonna start uploading some videos. This is my 120 millimeter uh, airless honeycomb tires that I put out to 14 hours per wheel on a Prusa. Uh, this is a 20% infill, and at 20%, even without the hubs, these are pretty, pretty damn, pretty damn hard. So this is way too much infill, and it's simply not going to flex enough for you to get that nice, um, nice ride. But it's going to be good if you want to go a little bit faster. Um, it's not bad, but very good. Very good equal force in all directions. So honeycomb infill works really well. This is a very sturdy wheel. It's not going to, um, it's not going to wear down. And you can see the treads are big. So before the insides are even touched, the treads will need to wear out. And they're actually 10 millimeters long, just like car tires. So I have the 15% infill. Now I might be able to go a little bit less. I might be able to get by by 10% maybe. And that should make it a little squishy. Even with this, with the rim on, it's a little hard for my taste. I'm gonna still go right it. It might be okay. But I, you know, I've made much softer wheels that feel much better. Um, so I think I'll have to go ride it first. But yeah, uh, airless honeycomb tires, 3D printed. I mean, these things are solid. I can tell you right now, this will last you hundreds of miles. All right, if not, maybe a th even thousands. Um, just just the way everything wears out on the TPU. Uh, once you print it right. Uh, the the layers don't come apart. Um, I have those old wheels that I check it out. The treads wear out slowly, even slower than rubber, so it actually lasts longer than tires. Um, so they're very solid, and because they're they're printed this way, the force is going cylindrical, which means it's gonna wear out cylindrically. Um, it's a soft, it's it's a solid wheel at this point, and the treads are 100% infill which means it's all plastic on the outside. Uh, so right now, I gotta go right it. Uh, if it turns out it's too hard, I'll need to I'll change the infill maybe to 10%, maybe 12%. Um, another thing I'm thinking, maybe I overdid the treads. These treads are just like car tires. I made them so big so you can ride it long and, and the treads stay big for a long time. That's something I can control. Uh, maybe make the treads big, um, smaller, half the size. I think it would be fine actually, and make five millimeter more room for the infill. Then I should be able to um, make it a lot softer. But it's a solid wheel. Really like this. Anyway, just want to show you guys honeycomb airless tires. That's that's the design for today. Um, let me go write it, and I will be back. Have a good day.